We got a phone call and an opportunity to buy a car that I had a chance to work on back in the day. It belonged to a buddy who passed away. What's up everyone? We got this, uh, I don't know what you are, Wes. But uh, we got a phone call and an opportunity to buy a car that I had a chance to work on back in the day. It belonged to a buddy who passed away and didn't want to buy another car, but we have to buy it to build it. So you guys will see this soon. New car on the way, making space yet again. Well, we got to start this thing. We never drive it. made good power it made about 426 horsepower cam only so he decided to copy the same cam setup I did and then same heads but he he went fully forged internals uh, poured and polished heads and he was super uh, particular with his car and he always kept it clean so we're gonna go check it out see what it looks like and hopefully still in the same condition but uh, thank you to a uh, Alex's buddy Jesse. Jesse is giving me the opportunity to buy it and something I'm gonna keep around and build. I wanted another F body just because that's kind of where I started from. This will allow me to buy one and put some money into it and at least be able to enjoy it and keep it and at least it has some type of a emotional attachment to it. So we'll go check it out, see what you guys think. <laughs> Rookie. Short. What happened? I'm too short. Oh, yeah. More to the right. He's gonna hit. He's gonna hit. Hit? Yeah, he's gonna hit. Good. 
You have plenty of space on my side. So we picked up the car. It was a little rough for Jesse to let it go. Um, I can totally understand. From what I know, Jesse was one of his best friends growing up. Or I don't know exactly for how long, but um, they obviously have a history together. Jesse ended up with the car. And I've told Jesse since he got it that if he ever wanted to sell it, I'd be down to, fill it, to buy it, finish it, and he's welcome to drive it whenever he wants. Um, so we picked up the car, and we'll show you guys more clips here coming up soon. This thing still sounds really good. For sitting since 2016, she sounds very healthy. So this car is in very good shape and I didn't take that many videos at Jesse's house who was the guy who sold, him, who sold me the car with Alex's best friend. Um, I know everybody's going to have their input on why, what you would do with the car, what you wouldn't do with the car and if it was your friend you probably wouldn't sell it or you would sell it, who knows. We don't know what everybody's going through in life and just know I'm going to keep it, build it. I'm going to work with companies that I'm currently sponsored by and I'm going to take care of it. It is a hard top, and although I'm not a big fan of a hard top, never been a big fan of a hard top. I've always loved T-tops. Alex was a big fan of a hard top. We'll see what happens. Maybe down the road we'll make it a T-top. It's not too hard to do it. I've watched conversion videos before in the past. But I wanted another F-body. I got offered my old one. And for the amount of money I would have spent to get that car back to the way I wanted it, it just made no sense. I'd rather build this and have some, some type of emotional attachment to it. F-bodies are hard cars to love. Um, that's kind of that got. That's kind of what got me to where I'm at. I used to drift an F body, and I'll show you guys videos here. But it was not the right car for drifting. So that's why I got into a GTO. But my love for them are still is still there, you know. It's a good looking car. This guy has a brand new Forge LS6, ported and polished 243 heads, Texas Speed long tubes with wide pipe, Borla adjustable catback exhaust, fresh SLP grill. It is an SLP car. It's a 2000. It's a 2000 SS Camaro. It is an SLP car. The car is in pristine condition. And yes, we're gonna get it a nice cover. Um, I have too many cars to try to fit them all in the garage. Eventually, I plan on buying another house to where I can have a shop back there. I don't plan on staying here forever. This is the first house I bought when I was 22, so I can't afford to move right now. But hopefully with these videos and your guys' support, maybe we'll be able to move someday and get a cool shop and make fire content. My goal was always to have a videographer and a editor. It's just hard to do it all myself. I work on my own cars. I go to work. I still have a 9 to 5. And to upkeep with all these cars is just hard. It's hard, but I love doing it, so that's why I do it. Mm -hmm. 